you go to The Sims 4 Gallery, press hashtag, and type in FGG Crime, you get a whole lot of illegal builds, and we're gonna be going through most of them today. Not most of them, actually, some of them. I, that was a, a lap in judgment, and I said the wrong word. The first build we're gonna be looking at is by AntGirl01 with the Desert Lotus Hotel & Co. This is the Desert Lotus Hotel, the hotel that's been up and running since the 70s and has had over the years had several horrible things happen to it. Okay, I am very, uh, there's the hashtag murder and also hashtag poker. And you know what, I think those two go really, really well together. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, here we are. I don't uh, like the lot I picked because these uh, these trees are in the way. But oh my god, the exterior is beautiful. Let me make sure all the walls are currently up. Wow! Is this all the way up? It is. Okay, I just- I want to do your build justice. That is really nice. I love the aesthetic of like several buildings together, but it's just one building. Oh, the back is so nice. Okay, okay, I don't I don't know what door to go in through. I'll go through the bar first. Oh, this is nice. This is like Strangerville stuff, isn't it? Very nice, very unassuming. I'm very excited for the hashtag murder part. We've got here, oh, like a little dance floor. Very dingy. I would not dance here. There's not enough lights. Okay, there's a single <laughs> light in the corner. All right, the bathroom is just a bathroom. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge it. And then there's like an exit door that leads out here, okay. So there's nothing in the bar, which is fine. We'll go in through the, uh, well, there's nothing through this one up until the second floor. So we'll go through here, and this is supposed to be the hotel, I assume? I think these windows are literally perfect for hotels and like the whole check-in thing. Look, you got some fruit, like a very sexy cop, may I say. That's, how is this allowed in the game? Disgraceful. Okay, very nice. We got a little closet, hopefully no skeletons in there. We've got the poker table in here, and we've got some some uh, very obvious mafia stuff going on. We got a framed simoleon and also some simoleons coming out of that suitcase. Uh, maybe put that in a cash register, guys. It's not very safe. Very dirty. I like this. And we got some darts over here and it goes out to the back where there's um a dumpster. And I'm pretty sure there are no dead bodies in there. Don't even worry about it. And then we've got a nice bathroom. I'm excited to go upstairs because I feel like the higher we go in this building, the more criminal activity we're gonna find. Okay, oh my god, there's a whole lot of stuff. So this is supposed to be, what is this one? This is just the apartment. Okay, so the middle part's the apartment. This is really nice. Like, I'm digging this room. I don't see anything um specifically illegal about this build yet. Maybe the illegal poker. We've got some bathrooms. We got a kitchen over here. This person's so artsy fartsy. Look at them. I, I hope they don't know that there's an underground poker situation going on. Okay, and over here is the hotel. Okay, very red, uh, very safe looking, I, might I say. I would, I would sleep here. There's nothing foreboding or terrifying about this one. Um, the blue one, even though blue is supposed to be a, a safer color than red, I find the blue one is a lot scarier. And somebody, somebody either pissed or there's blood. I don't want to know. Okay, uh, we'll go up one extra floor. We'll see how that goes. I think somebody has been stealing items up here. I feel like we have a thief who has stolen many typewriters, a couple of statues. Um, you could sell those for money and move to a nicer place, but I'm not gonna judge. And then this room is just filled with more stolen goods, probably some stolen paintings, or maybe actually painted paintings. I'm really questioning the legitimacy of this person's lifestyle at this point. In this apartment, nothing, just some nice stuff. I like this setup here. I'd watch TV on that. That seems like a really cozy setup. And over here, we've got some like outdoor hangout area. I hope the members, not the members, but the residents of this place understand that their neighbors are literally criminals. Is there a basement? There is a basement. How do you get to the basement? Oh, oh, it's over here. Okay, you get to the basement down here and then you go to the basement. Okay, um, this is where people do their washing and drying. Very nice, we got some security cameras over here. This is nice, like I'd live in this apartment minus the questionable neighbors. Over here we just got um, some like security room. They check all the cameras, well, <laughs> the security guys are not doing their job very well. I don't see any murder though, am I dumb? Did I miss the murder? It said hashtag murder, so either I've been clickbaited, which is fair. You know what, you checkmated me. I approve, very nice, some petty crimes going on. We, we can't be a felon all the time. 
This build is by Lil Mer Beach XOXO with the Steak and Malt Diner. Oh, I love this already. This place has the best steaks, burgers, and malts in town. Everybody wonders what their secret is. This place is so popular, a lot of the town's missing people were last seen at this diner, which was obviously just a total coincidence, right? Oh, I know what's in the burgers. Does it count as vegan? So I like this already. Look at this cars. Oh my god, I've never seen these before in this game. That's amazing. Uh, this looks very friendly. I would go eat here despite all the missing residents, but you know what? They probably just ate so much they passed out somewhere and we couldn't find them. Alright, we're, we're immediately bombarded with the menu. I'm already- I already feel pressured to know what I have to eat despite this being my first time here. Social anxiety has entered the chat. Alright, I come in here and this is nice. This is really cute. I don't see anything wrong with this place. Look, they're even child friendly. You can have toddlers here. I'd bring my whole ass family here. Yes, I have an ass family. We've got an aquarium, a bathroom. Oh, very nice. Very clean, actually. I'm not used to seeing clean bathrooms in public places, so that's quite nice. We've got the kitchen. Nothing weird going on in the kitchen, though. They're just making food. Look, they even got alcohol and a fire extinguisher and um, maybe too many knives, but I won't question it. And then here we've got the office. You know, the, the boss and his secretary just in here. Um, I don't know why there are syringes in here, but I, I think, you know, everybody has their hobbies and I'm not going to judge. And then we've got, uh, we've got, uh, obviously the outside leads to a trailer and that's fine, but, um... I'm, I'm more questioning the the ladder that goes downstairs. I don't know why there would be a la Oh no. <laughs> wow, this is where the um this is not a vegan friendly restaurant uh cuz they chop up the chickens. The poor chickens and they keep the chickens in the cage and they feed them TV dinners. Oh my god. What? Oh, it's not chicken. Um lots of hearts. We've got some organs and the baby. There are two babies. Ah, uh, and the machete and uh, lots of syringes. You know that baby friendly thing I said earlier? I don't mean that. I take it back. The next build we're gonna be looking at is the Castle of Deception by Smiley Face Lissy. On the outside, this is an innocent theme park slash play center with everything a child could possibly want. A place where a child's imagination can run wild. However, as time has passed, it is being noticed that there are guests that go missing and are never seen again. You guys really like this theme of people getting lost or something. This is beautiful. I am not deceived. You know what? I believe in this place and it will not deceive me. There are lots of toys. This is like... A child's dream, which is probably not the best thing considering we know what this video is about. Lots of toys. You know, I wouldn't even go inside the castle. I don't- you don't need to go inside the castle. Everything you need is up here. This is beautiful. I love it. How did you do- how did you do this? I don't- oh, are these half walls that- oh my god, so clever. I learned so much from you guys. Okay, let's go- oh, no, no, there's no basement, I swear. Let's go in. This is really cute. Um, a little bit scary, but it is a castle. Castles tend to be quite scary. There's a little bathroom in here with a baby toilet. There's no actual toilet. So, uh, children and adults, I'm, I have bad news for you. I love how there's no adult toilet, but there is a, an oven. The toddlers can use the toilet and the oven, but adults are not allowed. Oh, no, never mind. There's a, there's, never mind. Ignore me. There's an actual thing. I don't want to go downstairs because it kind of scares me. There is an upstairs, though. So, uh, how do we get there? So, you go through here. There's some, there's a room with a rocking chair. I don't like that one. That's kind of creepy. You come through here and a bunch of pillows. Um, I wouldn't hang out in there. I'd probably hang out with Mr. Dinosaur over here. Is that a raptor? Does it matter? I'm gonna go over here now. And then here we have another toilet situation. That's nice. I bet it's cold in here. And then we have this, the ladder. Oh, is that a pizza? Dude, that's some pizza. I like that. Okay, we'll go upstairs. And we go along the ramparts. And then there's this chick from My Sims. What's her name? Lindsay. I played a game, My Sims game once. Hey, look, we got a laptop over here. But uh, I'm a little bit intimidated by the massive My Sim. I wouldn't, I would probably go around. So let's go around. Over here, we got a dead body that all the toys are watching. Um, I don't like that, but I'm not gonna look too far into it, so we'll just keep going. And then we'll go over here, and you know, this is a lot better. We got some two bear chairs and some books over here, and look, now we're at the computer room. Totally worth it. I far prefer going past the, the death ritual than uh, past Lindsay. And then, how do we get to this room? Is there even a way into this room? Am I dumb? 
Okay, well, let's pretend there's a way. In oh, oh no, there is. There's a ladder. There's two ladders. I'm dumb. You come up here, and there's a child's play area. This is lovely. I like this. This is a safe build. Nothing bad will happen. Um, but I did see a questionable body and the stuff downstairs. So, well, oh, look, it's just a play area. It's fine. I don't know why someone died on the way down to the play area. Unless they were just making chalk pictures. So I'm not gonna think too far about it. Wow, this is really nice. They were making art and stuff. And there's nothing weird here. Especially this bookcase. Doesn't look suspicious at all. But then you you make it past the bookcase. And I don't like it. Oh, it's a maze. Okay, so we'll go through. I'll I'll, 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 uh, I'll humor you. I'm lost. I'm lost. Okay, we go through here. Oh, dead body. Do I go left or do I? I'm gonna stay away from the dead body. Oh no, there's more dead bo- and some pictures. Somebody took some pictures and it showed you how he died actually. He broke his leg. How sad. A sad way to go. Alright, we'll continue here. Lots of bodies. Oh, there's a dead end and a baby. Wow, some babies and some organs and a scalpel. Very nice. I'll just- <laughs> Try my mind of my way out of here. How do you even get anywhere else? Am I dumb? There's no other way in here. Unless there's supposed to be- a door or they closed it so they walled it off but anyway there's also a torture chamber wow you guys really like the theme of illegal stuff because this is illegal wow lots of people well uh this was a nice castle i look there's the, i just realized there's floating stuff that is so cute she's riding a chariot and you know what i'd rather remember this part of the build than any other part of the build very nice give me the hell out of here please so the next build we're gonna be looking at is Red's House from Animal Crossing New Horizons by Taryn Jamie. Jolly Red is a very sketchy fox from the Animal Crossing series. He sells stolen pieces of art, and here you will learn where he gets his fake paintings from. Oh, Red. I love Red very much. If you don't know who he is, it's, it's exactly what the guy said he is. He's a fox, and he steals paintings. And he's very sketchy, and he calls everybody his cousin despite me not being a fox. But I'm super excited. I love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is a very relaxing, happy game. And nothing bad happens in Animal Crossing, minus tarantulas. Okay, um, well, this is cute because it looks exactly like his little boat, which is adorable. This is already, like, really nice. Um, I didn't know he had a house, and I like how there's a sunken ship and a plane that went right through it. Okay, unfortunate accidents happen. Uh, I want to go through the house first, and then I'll go to his little boat. It's so cute. Okay, I'm so excited. Um, okay, we got a bonfire. This place is a bit messy but I would probably put this in the middle of the jungle or something. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. So we'll go through. Okay, it's very dingy in here, but, um, you know, everybody has their own tastes. Lots of treasures here. We got a nice kitchen. I would cook here. I would cook here many times. You know, despite all the spider webs and stuff. Adds flavor. You know, different delicacies. You cannot judge. We'll go upstairs. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I have a bit, uh, nice bunk bed. You know, very, very intuitive. Red always gets the good stuff before anybody else. Oh, so he traps people in here and makes them paint. Oh, that's a bit sad, but also, like, it's their fault if they got caught. Not my problem, but I love the aesthetic, like, the whole stones and stuff, and... Um, it's sparkling because of the new dust bunny kit. I don't think this place would be sparkling, but we'll just live with it. Very nice is that Red's got it. I assume Red sleeps here and watches. He makes sure, hey, you're, are you working? Um, he's got a little teddy bear. Very nice. Okay, I'm excited to go to his boat. Oh, look at that little... Oh, I feel so welcomed. I totally go to Red's house. Oh, very nice. It's very cute. I, I really enjoyed this. Look, he's got like his little Santa summer thing. And he, look, he's looking out onto the water. I put this in the perfect location. Okay, um, not the best living conditions, but also not the worst. So we'll go downstairs. Oh, look at this. He's got his collections. This is so cute. He's got his nice chair and none of this is stolen at all this is so cute like this is an aesthetic and no basement which is fine finally we don't have scary basements in this one but oh i like this i i really like this i think that even like the landscaping even though i'm totally not looking at it i appreciate it and you all should appreciate it this was a really nice build and not as much as you know not as uncomfortable as everybody else's builds but you know enough the next build we're gonna be looking at is the baron mansion by natalie ness <sighs> the fateful house of the baron once a wonderful and upstanding family, now the people are a little eerie about the ancestral home. 
The family was harboring a lot of dark secrets, like how they got all of their money, why people always go missing in their house, and why no one ever opposed them, at least not for long. Um, it is backwards. Uh, it's fine, you know, it's fine. This is very, I love, I love this type of architecture. Like, this is my house. If I lived anywhere, it would be this house. Um, I'm pretty sure lots of spiders live here, though, so I'm not fine a fan of that. Okay, we'll go in. Ooh, I love staircase rooms. I love this, and it's on a little platform. Like, oh my gosh, and look at all this money. Like, as soon as you come in here, they are flexing. As if this big-ass house wasn't a flex enough. They're just showing you. <laughs> look what you can't have. Wow. Very nice. This is. I like how you mixed these together. I, I see what you did there. I, I understand this game. Uh, we'll go through here. Um, this is really nice. I love the like little gothic architecture going on. Very pretty. They've got lots of um creatures and then some more flexing while you take a poo. Very nice. Very uh, appropriate. Uh, we'll go. Is this is the, this is the door to the outside? We'll go to the outside last. Um, we'll come through here. Okay, we've got a ghost and he's drinking some potions. What is this? A potion of questionable contents. Okay, I won't ask any more questions. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. Okay, look, we've got some spells going on. You know, they're making cupcakes and also testing on poor creatures from the nether. I guess this is where they make their potions. And there's like some toxic stuff in here, but also where they make their mac and cheese. So, you know, they're they're utilizing space well. So I think my my theory is that they make these potions, right? And then they invite people for dinner and then they give them the potions. It's like, hey, do you want to try my new soda? It's very, you know, niche, you know, and then they die. Okay, that's the bottom floor. Uh, we'll go up one floor and hopefully nothing scary happens. Eh. Uh, why are there so many pictures of people sleeping and the Grim Reaper and she's trying to make some food. So they've been, the Grim Reaper's on his tab. Oh my god. Um, oh, they are spying on people. Look, they're, they're spying on like their business partners or something. Like their, their, their competitors maybe so that they can be better at business this is really creepy what is that i don't understand wait what is this picture she's showering oh my god oh my god why she's very artsy though she's able to draw on the walls probably show them she's really good at painting uh there are some spooky hands oh there's some spooky hands and also pig and also voodoo dolls and magic stuff and they play chess in here sometimes they also they have a nice bathroom Oh, they're blocking off this door, though. They don't want anyone to come through here, so you know I'm gonna be Snoopy and... Oh, uh, devil baby. <laughs> devil baby! Okay, bye-bye. Okay, and then I'll just check the backyard for good luck. I'm sure there's nothing bad in the backyard. Like, look at this gazebo. Very pretty. What are these? These are vampire... They were vampires! Okay, so, new theory. They kept her in here as a constant source of blood. That's some good, like, gameplay mechanics. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that for a Let's Play. You just watch. Anyway, uh, so they were vampires, and they all died, and then, uh, more people died here. Good job! I appreciate this build. I like the mailbox in the corner. I'll just move it here for good luck. I don't want them to miss their mail, you know? They seem like very busy people. Is there a basement? No, thank God. Okay. The last build we're gonna be looking at is Not a Secret Lab by Swox mail 111 this suburban two-story home does not have a secret illegal alien testing lab in the basement this house is definitely not a decoy decoy <laughs> come and check it for yourself okay this is nice if you haven't got a garage a garage whatever and then you go around the back and it's pretty and Look, they have kids. There's nothing wrong with this place if they have kids and also llama bush. This is fine. Nothing is wrong with this place at all. Uh, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll come in. So we'll go to the garage first and there's just a car. You know, very nice. They have a car and a sink. Like this is super cute and little boxes. So they like, maybe they just moved in or something. This is so cute. Like just separate from the whole illegal vibe, which this build is definitely not. This is really cute. You don't need the stupid kitchen counter kit, okay? You can make good kitchens on your own. Screw that. Look, a little study. Wow. 
Okay, uh, we'll go upstairs first. We'll just tour the house real quick. This is, um, that looks like pee, pee I like that. This is really nice, like a little fireplace. And they, oh my god, these people, they're really good at music. They're artsy. The artsy people are never bad. Look at this, like bathroom and bedroom. That's a nice bed. Is that, is that like a rewards bed? I've never seen that bed before. Oh my god, a kid's room. They have kids. Um, where's the kid's bedroom? Actually, uh, where's the kid's bedroom? It, where's he gonna sleep? Is the kid not real? Did they lie? They wouldn't lie though. Like never. And I don't know why there's a generator in here, but you know what? I'm sure it's like the new type of solar power. I like this like entrance way as well. It's very nice. But I did notice um a little fishy. We got this this door thing again. Uh, I don't like secret doors. It makes me feel like you <laughs> have something to hide. Okay, it's just a chest and some pitchforks. Uh and then there's a door with lots of, uh, you need a key code, and you need a key card, and it's double locked, and then you come in here. Oh, it's just a painting room. It's fine. But there is a ladder. Jesus Christ, what is this? Okay, so there's a door, and you go through this door, there's another door, and you go through this door, and there's many more doors, and there's an interrogation room in here. Are you flipping serious? And you go through here... And there's more doors. Oh my god, what kind of fucking security do you need, bro? Like, it's already hard to get down to the basement. And some showers. Okay, some super secret showers. I'm sure that's all it is. And, um, locked bedrooms. I don't know why you'd need that. Just sleep upstairs, maybe? Oh my god. Jesus, like, there's a portal! There's a portal, go space! Are you serious? This is so cool! And, like, they have to wait behind here in case of, like, radiation or something. Like, when you're at the dentist and the dentist is like, Hey, you're totally fine while he's hiding behind the fucking, like, blast shield because you're about to explode. Oh my god, they do tests on aliens in here. They really fucking lied, did they? Oh my god, and you do some testing and it shows up on the thing. And, oh my god, some offices. And, like, storage room for what? Just, like, alien blood? What is this? Red Hot. I don't know what that means. That's great. I'm proud of you. Jesus Christ. This is like so in-depth. How many people work here? I thought this was just a suburban house and there's a whole other area to this place. There's a vending machine and magazines. Do you have to pay or are those free? That's a that's a really big deciding factor for if I want to work here. Do I want to go downstairs? Uh, all right. Well, first person this bitch. We'll go all the way over here. Oh, this takes us back upstairs. Where does this take us? Uh, here. Okay, so this is just another way to... What the fuck? What the hell is this? That's not okay! Why did you keep people in here? I... Uh, and then there's this room and then... <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. This was a really nice house and I... Bye. Bye-bye.